The WNUF Halloween Special. Yeah, I know this isn't really a new film, but it's a film that came out like I think last year or maybe the year before. I don't know because I don't do research. Or 2013, so year before, year before. Nonetheless, it, it basically what would have happened if you was a little kid and your local TV station was doing this big old Halloween thing and they're going to go broadcast live from a haunted house, which is always a wise thing to do on Halloween. So basically what they do is, is, is this whole film from start to finish is, is like if you had took a VHS tape and recorded your whole night of local programming as they go back and forth between the station to the live haunted house exploration deal because it's supposed to be a really, really haunted house and there's like this jerk of an anchor man that's there doing it. And they go in there and it's kind of slow. I ain't going to lie, it's kind of slow. It's kind of slow, but it's fun, it's entertaining, it's nostalgic, especially if you grew up in like the 90s. It feels like the 90s. I don't know if it's supposed to be the 80s or 90s, but it feels more like a 90s thing to me. Because it really seems like something I would have watched when I was a little kid. Like, oh, the weatherman or the newsman, he's going to a haunted house. Oh, gotta watch that. And it, it's fun. It's fun. It's not the best thing you're ever going to see. There isn't a whole lot of, like, gore or nothing like that to it. But it's fun. It's nostalgic. And uh, it gets the job done for me. And I also like a lot of the little commercials they had in here. Like, there's a lot of fake little commercials that plays in between the program and just like if it was real television. And when they start to replay them, they kind of fast-forward through them so you don't have to set through them. There is moments when it seems like it drags just a little bit. But the coolness overcomes the flaws of it. it it's just like MC Hammer's career. The coolness overcame the flaws of it. But it, it's one that I would say that if you're going to like found footage, because it's kind of found footage in a way, if, if you like that sort of gimmick, if you like gimmicks in general, and I, I'm all about the gimmicks, um, this is one you want to throw at the top of your list as something you want to watch. It's WNUF Halloween Special. There's a limited edition VHS that's like probably long gone. You're never going to get it. But if you can't find that, then get this from Alternative Cinema, Pop Cinema, uh, Camp Motion Pictures, which is all the same pretty much. Um, it, I don't really know exactly what the price range is on this, but it's worth checking it. I would give, I would pay money if they hadn't sent it to me the screener. I would have easily paid money for this just because it's just that cool, folks. And the story, you know, it kind of has a nice little twist at the end of it. People kind of get what they need to get, and you kind of get what you need to get watching it. So because of that, thumbs up for nostalgia. Thumbs up for the WNUF Halloween special.